Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. If you remember, in the previous session we made an index file and said hello inside it and made the first page of the site like this, as you see. And we said we can have our HTML pages on the public dot underline HTML page and the index dot HTML will be imported on our domain automatically. Okay, now what we are going to do is in this session to make a new Django app, like when we made a new Django app on the localhost. We made a new project and saw the first page on the Explorer. Here we are intending to perform the same task and see the first page of Django on our domain. All right, the first thing that we need to do is to go to file manager and erase the files and folders that I have made in the public on the line HTML. We need to remove the index. We shouldn't have any index file on the file manager. So let's see the first page of the site. Uh, it has been made here. Now in order to make a new project first we need to make the Python app. We go to the three Python apps in the C panel, our C panel, and when we open the page first, we choose the Python version, Python 3.7. Now the name of the folder where we are going to make the setting up of the project called My Web, and then choosing the domain or subdomain, we can connect several domains to the host. Uh, we choose the main domain and hit the setup and wait for the app to be made. It has been made in the my web directory and if we refresh the site we would be able to see this message that says it works Python 373. The Python 373 has been installed as of now. Now our Python app is available on the domain that was uh, let's say installing the Python. We install the latest version of the Python. Later on we will explain how the Python and Django's version need to match or otherwise be identical. Uh, that of the local uh, so that there wouldn't be any mix-ups on our sites. Alright, now the next thing that we need to do is to install Django and make our database the way we did with the local host procedure in order to do uh, in order to see it we enter the CD in the terminal here there are other options to do the installation or we can have the HSS accessibility or do it through terminal the code that we have here is for activating the terminal like the terminal that we use uh, to have uh, the source name vnm slash with a slash activate when we entered this for activating the virtual it gave us this code well uh, we copy this and in order to in order to do it we can either have accessibility or through the installation of the modules we can enter the terminal i open the terminal that's why i said uh, you need to pay attention which host you choose. Most of the hosts do not allow access uh, to the terminal or you install it through the command. But when we have the terminal, it would work exactly like the local host that we used to work with. My virtual machine has been activated like the local host. And now just like with it, with the local, I can say uh, install uh, Django, wait for the Django to be installed for me, exactly like the local host. We have installed the Django after installing Django. What did we do? As we said, we go to our Django, has been installed. Then we are going to need the database. We are not going to make any alterations on the settings. Okay, so right now we just need to make the project and the database. Now Django has been installed. I 
hit ls now and see the size where was our directory folder my web so first i enter my web where i will be able to see the addresses of the folder that i have made after my python installation you see some of the files have been made for me let's open another tab if we enter file manager when we enter the my web folder that we have set up for python installation when we enter it there are two folders and two files and now django has been installed to make my new project i need to enter the same folder directory and using uh, the command django dash admin start project the name of the name of the project my project okay now here we have two options here i can enter the pro and the project will be made for me uh, the point here is that the project files need to be set exactly next to these files so here if i make the project it will be made in a folder and the folder is called project and now i need to go into it and move the files inside it one folder back i can do something simpler i can add a space a dot and when i enter a dot my files will be automatically next to it so that's a new point if you don't want the files to be made inside a folder we use a space dot now if i hit ls you notice that our project has been set next to those files now if i reload their project files such as manage.py and the my project folder where the settings and urls are have been set next to this folder so we set uh to these ones we can either use dot or make the project in its normal fashion and then move the files inside it next to the other folders okay the next thing we need to do is to work on the databases we are going to do that manage.py make migrations okay and then python manage.py migrate if we hit ls the database has been made here or if we reload file manager uh, the database will be seen so that's what we have done up to here we have made a project in the terminal there is one more thing that we need to do again uh, we need to return to the settings of the python app uh, you might remember when i told you about wsgi that we are going to need on our host now it is on my web and my project wsgi we need to address this file so how does our file addressing start the file addressing starts from here from here in the file manager from a slash home to a slash home to a slash django so i need to write all of these of the wsgi file the first slash is very important it needs to be written so a slash home to i check these addresses next to my file manager a slash home to a slash django okay to slash all right after django uh, we enter le we enter to my web project where we have the python project my web a slash okay as we have over here and my project and then wsgi.py and column application okay and what do we have i hit the save button uh, so this only made an initial savings for this address i need to hit update if my address is okay i would be able to see it and it's found it would it, it would tell me the address is correct in green and if not it would tell me the address is wrong 
in red i hit update and yeah it is telling me that it has recognized the address it has recognized ws wsgi and i just need to restart my app after doing the settings i hit restart and now i will be able to see the first page of my project okay as you see it gave me an error and here it tells me that i need to make sure that here the name of the domain needs to be set in this part as well i copy this name the name of the domain i need to go to my project in the setting.py folder okay sorry in the setting.py file the project setting uh, you might remember the allowed host from before where we said we need to set the name of the domain I will set the name of the domain here once in the normal fashion and once using www dot and we save the setting changes i restart my project again now i am able to see the site and as you see the first page of the site has turned into the first page of my django project just like we had on the local host and we have made the first django project and set it on the host as you notice it wasn't such a difficult thing to do we just need to take care that the wsgi file be addressed correctly and the other point was to set the project files next to the default folder of python app as we said we need to choose a, an appropriate host uh, that can provide us with the right kind of terminal uh, that has a terminal so that it can perform the necessary task if it were to use other hosts such as HHS etc then we would need to connect uh, to it using apps uh, such as put and this would make things more difficult but this host contain a terminal and I was able to perform my task and the first page of Django was shown to me in the next step instead of this first page we are going to have another project we are going to erase this site and make a new project and in the new project uh, what we are going to do is we are going to load our own project and when we enter the site address we would be able to access our own project